Hey guys, welcome to this lecture. So today we are going to discuss about the uh, Palo Alto firewall scripting. So what we are going to do, basically we are going to write one Python script uh, with the help of which we will be able to log in into the firewall and then we will try to run few commands and we'll see whether we are going to get the output as desired. Okay, so uh, this is the firewall which we are going to log in with the help of the Python script. So you can see the management IP address 192.168.0.4. Uh, let me just go to the monitor tab and uh, let me just visit uh, system logs. Okay, so so that you know when we are when our script is going to log in into this firewall, you will get the log here. Okay, so now uh, let's go to the terminal and let me just check the IP address of this machine. So as you can see, this is 0 0.105 and our firewall is 0 0.4. Uh, so I think they are in the same subnet. Yep, they are in the same subnet. So let's try to ping the firewall. It is reachable. And since we were able to log in into web UI, so it makes sense that this is reachable from this machine. Okay, so now uh, we need to write the script. So what you're going to do is first to get into the root mode. Okay, so uh, this is the root home directory for this user. So we will be creating one uh, directory inside our, uh, you know, downloads. So let me see ls minus la and you will see that we have this folder download so let's go inside this directory and here if you do ls minus la as of today there is no directory available here so i will write this command mkdir python scripts now if you do ls minus la you will be able to see this directory now let's get inside this recently created directory and here we are going to create our script file so in linux if you want to create any new file you will use touch and just give it a name uh, let's say test.py and if you do ls minus la you will be able to see that we have created this particular file here right now what you need to do is just do uh, nano you can use nano or you can use vim to edit this particular file because we need to write the set of commands here right so nano test.py and you will be inside this file so right now it is blank uh, basically we are going to import few uh, libraries one of them is p aspect then you will import system and you will import time okay so now step number one this is the comment right when you put hash it means that you are commenting you know you are just uh, making your code readable easy to understand so that whosoever is reading your code they get to know what you have done right so this comment line will not be uh, you know uh, considered during the runtime okay so this is just to make your program good so first we need to set up few variables like uh, firewall ip so 192.0.4 see it's good practice that you define variable because uh, multiple times you need to uh, call in these uh, variables down your code uh, today we are going to write very short code so here you will not see that i'm referencing to these variables very frequently but when you write long scripts there you would need it okay then we have this uh, prompt so we are defining this variable because whenever uh, you know the python script is going to log in into your uh, firewall it is going to get this as an output and similarly if any command is going to be uh, you know run in the cli of the firewall this is the output which we are going to get right so we are defining it as prompt now what you need to do is you need to set up the 
expect connection as object okay so this expect uh, library which we have imported right so we are going to set up this connection as an object so firewall will be treated as an object okay so set up the expect connection as a as an object so that you can run multiple functions on top of it and you can get your answer i mean results right so firewall this is the variable i'm defining okay p expect dot spawn so basically this spawn uh, you know helps to run the cli commands you know you can run any command you can do any uh, scripting you want to do ssh object strict host key checking no this is the you know prompt you get from the uh, cli whenever you try to uh, log in into your firewall if you have done it through buddy you must have seen it okay so by with the help of this command uh, my script will be able to log in into the firewall then what i'm going to and you know expect from the firewall so expect uh, the firewall will ask me to enter the password okay so i will be expecting the word to enter the password now what you need to do you need to send the password so send line function will be used and what we are going to put as an argument the password variable which we have decided you know which we have defined above right so a password will be provided and after the successful authentication we will be able to log in and once you log in you will be expecting this prompt which we have defined you know the uh, dollar sign okay so this is the uh, setup of your expect connection as an object now uh, there are certain pre prerequisites which we need to uh, do right and then we can run our commands so prerequisites for our pa firewall right so firewall dot send line first we need to turn on the scripting mode set cli scripting mode on right first you need to turn on the scripting mode then as a response you will get again prompt from the firewall right with the dollar sign so that's the reason we have defined the variables above so that we can call them again and again then again we will send the command set cli pager off and then again we are going to expect the same prompt from the firewall and now you can you know uh, send your command which you need to run so let's say i want to run show jobs all okay and what i'm going to expect i'm going to expect the prompt from the firewall right and uh, you need to capture this output in a variable so fw dot before before function will help you to capture the uh, you know output so basically what we have done this fw is nothing but an uh, you know object we have created by using the uh, expect right so this connection has been set up as an object and now we are running uh, you know functions on this particular object like uh, send line expect you know send line and then we are capturing that particular output here in this particular variable right so you will be able to capture the uh, output of the show jobs all in this particular variable now we need to print this so print you just need to take care of one thing that in python 3 uh, you know by default uh, it is not decoded so if you are going to print right away uh, you will see that you know the uh, orientation of your output is not that good so you need to call the decode function here so that orientation should be in line 
okay so now you will press control o to write the file and then control x okay and if you want to see do we have the content inside so you can use cat function and you will be able to see that this is the uh, script which we have written so far now let me just do one thing let's run this script so python 3 i'm using python 3 and uh, <clears throat> my script name is test.py so let me just run it and uh, you will be able to see the output okay so you can see the output of the show jobs all right and if i go to firewall and here you can see authentication successful so somebody tried to authenticate into this firewall from this machine right and there that was my ssh connection so here you can see and i got the answer similarly you can modify your script and uh, instead of show jobs all you can get the uh, system information right or you can run here uh, whatever show commands you know you you would like to run so show system info okay and now if you're going to run it you will be able to see the uh, detailed information about your firewall right so you can see the name of the firewall right IP address, net mask, default gateway, everything. It is coming up here, right? So similarly, you can run other uh, commands, right? In fact, you can run commands uh, inside configure mode as well. If you want to do configuration of your firewall through scripting, that, that we will cover in the coming lectures. Uh, let me just run another command, show clock right so now it is going to show me the clock inside my firewall what is the time at present there see you can see admin firewall right and this is the time okay so this is how we have successfully created the uh, script python script which is able to ssh into our firewall and we are able to run the commands and get the outputs Okay. In coming lectures, we will see how you can configure your firewalls with the help of the Python script.